Okay, so we're gonna be making these, I'm really excited actually, we're gonna be making these garlands to go around the Christmas tree. And they're gonna be quite elaborate. I bought, believe it or not, I got these really pretty vines at Dollar Rama for $4.50 in Canada. Okay, and I had been shopping all day for Christmas ornaments and things like this, and the cheapest I'd found were $27. So I came, I, I can't afford it. So, and if I could, I'd donate it to charity instead. Chatty and happy Leanna made this part of the video too long. So I went ahead and I cut it down immensely for you. You need to start with an inexpensive Dollar Tree garland like this one. Then you should search your seasonal decor for any kind of branches you you can find that is not deciduous. And I used eucalyptus and these brown sparkly branches. The eucalyptus is several years old and the sparkly branches are at least 10 years old from an old Christmas tree I did. The main component to add to this garland was real branches and I'll show you how I livened them up. They were free and they came from my yard. Other than that I used some spray on adhesive, some white Dollar Tree paint, some white or iridescent Dollar Tree glitter and that's everything that we need. And I'm going to do it on this side a little bit as well. Just to match them up. Now as much as you put paint you put on these, none at all, a little bit, a lot. I'm putting on lots. It is up to you. See, so I'm going to let that one dry. I'm going to do the same one over here. I'll show you one more time. I'm doing the same one here. Okay. Same exact thing. I'm just kind of dry brushing it, I guess, in amongst all the pine, all the little bristles. Or... Yeah, just like that. Some paint, not a lot. Just to get the amount on there you like. Okay. Put them on the bottom. Put some on this side. Give it a good sprinkle or sparkle. Now this is these are iridescents. There you go. Okay. So I'm going to turn off the video now and I will go ahead and finish all the rest of the pine cones on this particular section. So here's one of our natural branches. Nothing spectacular, it's just a branch. Okay. Now this one's kind of heavy at the end. It's heavier than I want it to be. So my first step's going to be Cut it off. I think I'll cut it off about here. I'll throw away. Now this part, I'm going to do my very best to weave it as best as I can. If the parts that won't weave, if there's too many pieces sticking out, you can always choose to just trim them off. Let's see if I can't get these to weave in. Take that, a little bit of Dollar Tree wire, forest wire, wrap that around the end to hold it. Now, if you can't find this black wire, which I often have a hard time doing, you can, especially this time of year, use the ornament hangers from Dollar Tree. And they will work too. They're, just, they're thin wire, so just use them instead. Okay, now I'm going to take this here, put it around in here. It actually holds pretty darn good all on its own. Okay, I will go ahead and put another little piece over here. So now that we got that done, you can use your branch just like that, but because this year I'm wanting to play with glitter, I'm 
trying to do lots with glitter and add lots of shine this year after several years of not having any. I'm gonna add a soft mint, a soft mint glitter to mine. Use green too, or white. Uh, and then I'm gonna flip it over. The undercard here is just a piece of wax paper. Okay. Put it away there. This is very sticky. I'll have to replace it soon. Well, here's one that I've got that's not too sticky yet. See, I'm, I'm saving up my glitter. So what I'm going to do is I'm put this on here, and I'm going to put it on. Oops, one end. Now, it makes a subtle difference, but it's really pretty. I don't know if you can see that. Here, I'll put some more on this side here. There we go. There's another branch done. Okay, so I'll keep working on my branches. And I will come back when I have enough done, at least for our first length. Now that we got all the elements done, it's time to start putting the garland together. First step was to arrange all the ornaments or embellishments on the actual garland and put them all in the same direction. I picked from left to right. Once I had that all done, then I put two of them together to double it. And you can make them sh as short or as long as you need, depending on your tree. So for example, on the bottom branches for the garland, I wanted it 10 feet long. And for this one that I'm showing you now is the last one that I did on the top. It's about 7 feet long. So I just strung them out together and then wrapped them using what was the garlands themselves to put them together. Once they were all attached, then I went and I started putting all the different embellishments on. So I've got two of them together. Now as I go, I don't want to put anything on these without it having a def definitive purpose. It's got to have a reason for me to put it on there. So I'm going to start with these to add some fullness. And I picked the shorter ones for this particular length because they'll go around the tree easier. This one's going to have to bend more than the other ones will. So I'm going to start by wrapping the wires around here, around my branches. Now, if you really can't find these, you could make them just by starting with whatever garland you have. But I wanted a garland to start with, so I had something to build off of, and something that was the entire length of my, so I could make an entire length of garland, okay? So there goes the first one on. I don't think this place I'll put any. I'll put one here. So what I want to do next is I've got two branches on here. I have more branches. I think I'll go and I'll add one more at this end here. It is, oh yeah, I got lots of room. This one does need one. Let's put one right up at this end here.
Okay, so now we got that. Now I want to put, I need to add some bulk and some interest to some of the empty areas, like let me show you right here between <coughs> <Is that? coughs> excuse me, right here between the end of this one. I have a bit of a space in here. And here, I'll straighten these out. I want them again. Going left to right. So I'm gonna put them here. I'm gonna put in this eucalyptus. Now I can get three branches off of one of these. Now these here, some of mine come from, that I own come from Ikea. And the remainder come from the dollar store. Okay, so that's my green ring. I can get three off of one branch. And I'll put the first one here. Now, if you wanted to, these would be really pretty if you wanted to add glitter to them. I was tempted, actually, but chose not to at the last minute because I really like them on the branches. It's subtle. You should see how pretty these are on the tree. It's really nice. I'll show them to you, of course, at the end. So I'm going to put this here. And then... I think this one here could use some brown as well. Now for my brown ones, I got two off of one. Sometimes I can get three. It depends on which branch it is. So I'm going to take some off of here as well. Yeah. Okay. Off them up, and I'm going to put them. So here's the part that had the greenery. I'm going to put it under here, just so that it maybe sets off my pine cone a little bit. I changed the angle for you here so you can see the entire branch and how I'm building it or the entire garland and how I'm building it. I just go through and I see wherever it's a bit sparse and I've been wrapping it with the wire to hold it in using the parts of the actual garland where I can to hold it the embellishments on. I don't want it too thick overall because after all it is going to go inside the Christmas tree. You can make it thicker if you have a sparse tree. My tree thankfully is very very thick so when you see the end pictures you'll see where they it kind of snuggles into the tree and it's very subtle but beautiful inside. I just kept doing this right up until the end. I wrap it, twist it, put it in so it fits. But I'm hoping you can see as you watch this which areas are a little bit thicker than the others. It was so funny for me to watch the replay while I was editing this video for you because honestly I was just chitting and chattering to you the entire time about prices, priorities, uh, all sorts of motherly things or grandmotherly things. Now I'm hoping you can see that which part of it, the way it start, the way I finished it, how thick that is compared to the end that I still got some work to do on. I just simply repeat the same process. I add some eucalyptus, some brown uh, to it as I go. The brown sparkles, and I use wire to attach it where I can't attach it with the pieces from the embellishments on the actual garland. And with that, I will end the video. 
and we'll, I'll show you hanging it on the tree. Here I am hanging the last of the garlands on the top of the tree. Uh, none of them are hard to do. The top one was the hardest one to do. You just want to make sure that they're evenly balanced across the tree horizontally so that you don't have like two of them six inches apart and two of them two feet apart. I have a total of five of them on my seven foot tree. I, the other thing you want to make sure of is I like to start at the front and then I put them on a bit of an angle and made sure that the end branches are all tucked in of course but what you want to do is make sure that you shove the entire garland into the tree like you do ribbon you don't want it precariously perching on the outside of the tree looking like it's about to fall off uh, the one challenge little challenge I had is I had to move some of the light strands around because I add extra to my tree and I had to move some of them out of the way so that I could push the garland in where I needed it to be. Um, I didn't do a very good job actually of showing you how pretty this thing is. It's just been fabulous. I love it. I wasn't, I decided not to use ribbon on my tree at all. This more was more than enough extra and it gives it a very high end look. I don't think I saw anybody else with this, which makes me super excited. Anyway, I hope you love this as much as I do, and I want to wish you all happy crafting season. Talk to you soon. So here's a close-up, final video shot of our branch garland and the thing with it is that I found out afterwards that I hadn't thought of. It's become very handy for propping up other ornaments. See right there? What happens is, is something will be hanging the wrong way and I was able to use that as an extra piece in order to adjust it. It looks really nice to the tree. I like it much better than ribbon. And it's a bit different. Hope you love it as much as I do.